Good evening, I'm Air Force Sergeant Tom Swanson. And I'm Army Sergeant Jim Powers. Well, it's good to be back, believe it or not. And while I was gone, the world did continue to, what? <laughs> you better get your... Good evening, I'm Air Force Sergeant Tom Swanson. And I'm Army Sergeant Jim Powers. Well, believe it or not, it's good to be back. And uh, while I was gone, the world did continue to turn, as did activities in and around the Norddeutschland area continue to happen. One thing that I was back in time for was the inauguration of a new service. Well, actually, it's an old service in a new form. Take a Another change took place recently. <laughs> hey, quit bugging around, all right? Come on, let's do it here. <clears throat> I'm blaming Joe for that. Okay. Another change took place recently, this one involving D Troop, 2nd of the 1st Cavalry. And Specialist Rick Lewis has that story. and entertainment from the rodeo over the weekend. Take a look at that. Did he have that right? I don't know. Sometimes I don't think that's the right thing. Bye. Hey, okay, I'm ready. Bye. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> And with a look at the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're we'll going. <laughs> I'm ready. Five. And with a look at the upcoming events and activities around the Clay area, here's Lorraine Clements from the Clay Public Affairs Office. Stand by. Thanks, Lorraine. If you're a photo buff, or maybe if you'd like to get into photography, APHIS has a deal for you. To tell us more about that, here's Bremerhaven Exchange Manager, Mr. Harold Boswell. <laughs> Stand by. Thank you, Lorraine. Well, if you're a photo buff or maybe you'd like to get into photography, APHIS has a deal for you. To tell us more about that, here's APHIS Exchange Manager from Bremerhaven, Mr. Harold Boswell. Does that make sense? I guess. More Gollum off through no, that in. Not on his script. I know, I just threw in it in. Five. Four. Three. <laughs> we'll be back with Gollum off for you. And we'll have more Gollum Offrey for you right after this message. <laughs> Come on, Joe! Phew, it's getting hot. Oh, he's holding up the show. Jesus. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Woo. There's two people on an elevator and one guy farts, everyone knows who did it. It used to go faster when Gagne was here. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Try it again. <clears throat> I mean, is it okay to go? We should still be rolling. Okay. Three, two. Tom, do you use your seatbelt everywhere you go somewhere in your car? You know, like, <laughs> you go to the potty before you go. Why the hell should I tell you? Uh -huh. you know, what are you, <laughs> writing, writing a book? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Everywhere you go somewhere? <laughs> Does it say that? Doesn't say that on mine. Damn, same typewriter did that too. Every time you Stand go. Okay. <clears throat> Four. Three. Tom, do you still wear your pampers? <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, we're even now. We're even. What do you think? <laughs> Okay, we're even. Okay. Don't God, jump, I love this. Don't jump for <clears throat> Wait a minute, wait a minute. This is too soon here. 
Okay. <laughs> Three. Tom, do you still use your seatbelt every time you go somewhere in your car? What does it say still? What does it say still? Okay, okay. Do you use? Do you use? Tom, do you use your seatbelt every time you go somewhere in your car? I guess you don't even have to say car. Take six. Okay, here we go. You're never going to make your date tonight, Joe. Tom, do you still use your seat? <laughs> Just do it one time, okay. please. Tom, do you use your seatbelt every time you go somewhere in your car? Don't do this to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. I'm not. <laughs> Tom, do you wear your seatbelt every time you go somewhere in your car? Yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. Um, about two years ago, I was in an accident, hit a truck going about 65 miles an hour, and uh, if it weren't for the seatbelt, I probably wouldn't be sitting here tonight, so, yeah, I always use it. That's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You look like you were to say something, didn't you? Stand by. For news. Five. Four. Three, two, one, cue. Tom, do you use your seatbelt? <laughs> 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 that was good. I thought we were going to go for it that time. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Idiot. Well, a lot has happened since I've been gone. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Commercial, commercial is ending. And All right. Stand by five. Tom, do you use your seatbelt every time you go somewhere in your car? Yeah, matter of fact, I do. About two years ago, I was involved in an accident. Pretty bad one, too, but uh, I was wearing my seatbelt, and it kept me right in the seat where I was supposed to be. And probably, if it wasn't for the seatbelt, I wouldn't be here right now tonight. So, yeah, I do wear it all the time. Well, you know, Tom, a lot of people still aren't wearing their seatbelts, and according to the... Our cameras were there and caught the following action. Buckle up! For this week's Gollum Offer, whoops. And that's going to wrap it up for this week's Gollum Offer. We'll be back next week with much, much more stuff happening in and around the Norddeutschland area. Join us then. Before we go, though, I'd like to say, uh, say a few words of thanks to Joe Williams, our director on tonight's show, and to the lady standing back there behind the camera, Cindy Dahl. Thanks a lot, folks. And I'm Air Force Sergeant Tom Swanson. I'll see you next week. Till then, have a good one. Army Sergeant Jim Powers here. Quincy is next on AFN TV. Oh, the camera's not on. Hold it. Hold on. Camera is not on Just in here. Flip the switch up. Flip the See, switch you know where up. you know where you turn it on at? On the camera. I, think you turn the I I had Ed. When you walk up, walk up over here. What the hell is that? Williams, what are you doing? Stand by. <clears throat> what are we doing? The clothes again. The whole thing? Yeah. Four. Give her enough time to get out of the camera outside. And that's going to wrap it up for this week. We'll be back again next week with more Gollum Offrey, much more happenings in and around the Norddeutschland military community. Until then, have a good week. But before we go, one last thing. I'd like to say thanks to our uh, director on tonight's show, Specialist Joe Williams. And thank you to the other people who were instrumental in making this show possible. Rick Lewis, Gary Hall, Owen Roach, and last but not least, Cindy Dahl standing back there behind the cameras. Thanks, everybody. I'm Air Force Sergeant Tom Swanson. Good night. Army Sergeant Jim Powers here. Quincy is next on AFN TV.
Good evening, I'm Air Force Sergeant Tom Swanson. Jim Powers is on leave this week. Well, if you tuned in last week to watch Gollum Offer, you probably figured it out that the show wasn't on. That's true. The show was ready to go on about a half hour before. It did make it, though. We had a few problems, and, uh, well, I think we've got that squared away tonight, so we've got a lot of things to catch up on, and uh, we'll be doing that... Uh, what the hell was I talking about here? Right after this message. That sounded too involved. I'm not going to go into an explanation of what happened. Good evening, I'm Air Force Sergeant Tom Swanson. Jim Powers is on leave this week. Well, if you tuned in to watch the show last week, and I know we told a lot of people that it was going to be on, you may have noticed that it wasn't. A few problems along the way. We've got them all ironed out this week, hopefully, and uh, we'll be bringing you everything that we were going to bring you last week, this week, plus some other things, and we'll do that beginning right after this message. Uh, Why? what I do? I was zooming when you started. Oh, I didn't do anything. Ready? If you're a soccer fan, then you probably know by now that our own NDL players captured the Usurer Championships recently. If you're not a soccer fan, then the... the shit, hmm. <laughs> if you're a so you ready? Sorry. Mm. If you're a soccer fan, you probably realize that our very own NDL players recently captured the Usurer Championship, uh, soccer championship. Boy. <laughs> If you're a soccer fan, then you probably realize or know by now that our own NDL players recently captured the USERA Soccer Championships. If you're not a soccer fan, well, the fact remains the same, but maybe you haven't heard the story yet. After bringing home the title, a championship game was assigned by all the players and then awarded to NDL Community Commander Brigadier General Thomas Tate. General Tate then presented certificates of achievement to the team members. Also during the ceremony, awards were handed out to the winners in the USER Arts and Crafts Contest. Sergeant First Class Michael Nagy of HHC 266 took second place in the Leather Division. He also finished first in the All-Army Competition. First Lieutenant Franklin Hoffman of B Battery, fourth of the third, picked up first place in the Leather category. Both Sergeant Nagy and Lieutenant Hoffman received certificates and a check from USERer. Now the bowling. The long bowling season finally came to an end recently for members of the 21st Support Command unit level bowling teams. Does that sound right? That's not what I wrote. Oh, unit level, okay. The long bowling season finally came to a close recently for the unit level bowlers in the 21st Support Command. The five teams that made it to the finals competed right here in Bremerhaven, and this is how it all turned out. What a look. You're watching Gollum Offrey, and you're in tune with NDL. We'll be right back. No. Oh. <clears throat> this week, we begin a new feature as we... Sp oh, let me put my hand up here so I don't look like I'm jerking around. This week, we begin a new feature as we spotlight one of the units here in northern Germany. Our first unit spotlight falls on one of the units that's got a long history, a proud one at that. And this week, they're extremely busy as well. Dog breath. Oh. Think of the problems we'll have once a month with her in. Oh. <clears throat> well, come November, I guess we'll find out whether or not we're... The renovation project at the Bremerhaven Exchange is coming right along. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go with a list of things. Okay, sorry. That's what I get for reading my script. To get one, just see your art in a variety of activities, including cooking, sports and music, singing, arts and crap. Ah, oh, hell. Wait a minute. Just keep rolling. During the camp, they took part in a variety of activities, including cooking, sports, music and singing, arts and crafts, Indian lore, and they even learned about cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR as it's more commonly called. The summer camp provides the boys with something to do while school is out, and it also teaches them leadership skills and shows them how they can achieve a common goal through teamwork. Each of the scouts has a different opinion of the camp, and each had their own favorite part of the day. Okay. Now, come back. Yeah. Mmm, <laughs> 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 good stuff, Maynard. First, before we go on, I'd just like to say that I did eat at the dining facility today, and my stomach is rather upset. So you'll have to excuse me. If I look like I'm having a little gas, I am. I'd like to thank Cubmaster Paul Brower and his staff for an enjoyable afternoon while we're after this. Thing here. 
They are red, white, and blue. I'm a patriotic motherfucker, <laughs> along with my black pants and my Nikes, my gray Nikes, the official shoe of Gollum Offrey. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you're still going? Just in case we couldn't edit it tight enough with all that other crap about the dining facility. You know, I'd again like to comment on the fact that my stomach is really upset now. Okay, no. The people from the Bremerhaven Medac had their organization day some time back. Our minicam was... Just in case we couldn't edit it tight enough with all that other crap about the dining facility. You know, I'd again like to comment on the fact that my stomach is really upset now. Okay, no. The people from the Bremerhaven Medac had their organization day some time back. Our minicam was on the scene, and they recorded these happy people. They, we. Okay. People from the Medac recently held their organization day, and, uh, <laughs> they sure did. The people from the Medac recently held their organization day. Our cameras were on hand to record these happy people. Real close on your face with a smile. Okay. Believe it or not, no, last but not least tonight, it is Nash. No. Oh, from, I, from, yeah, that's right. And last but not least this evening. And last but not least this evening, did you know that it's National Smile Week? That's right, this is National Smile Week, designated the first week of August every year. Well, we went out uh, recently and uh, actually, uh, I'll start over. Hmm. Okay, I'll just see if we can smile. Uh, it's hard to smile. Why am I doing this? Well, because it's National Smile Week. Did you know that? That's true. First week of August is always marked as National Smile Week, this year being no different. And now tonight, we've got some smiles we'd like to share with you, along with some music by, who is that? <laughs> Probably wondering why I'm sitting here smiling like this. No, it's not because I ate at the dining facility today for lunch. Uh, it's because it's National Smile Week, actually. Yes, this is National Smile Week. The first week in August is always designated as such. And we've got some smiles to share with you this evening, along with some music I think you're going to enjoy. <laughs> Decision, Mark, Mark on my script and talking to the people off camera and stuff. That way I can say, I can say, how long till, how long till the scene where the music's playing and everything. And it's coming. Yeah, all that too. And everything, everybody's gone. Good evening, I'm Air Force Sergeant Tom Swanson. Jim Powers is on leave this week. Did you think of that? Pretty good, huh? Decent. Hey, well, you don't want to say that, actually, because, you know, I say, yeah, what do you think of these grand opening things? Stuff? Sure. You see these grand opening signs? Aren't they cool or what? Great. <laughs> all righty, that's going to wrap her up for this week, just like a Tootsie Roll. And I'd like to thank all the people. They know who they are. Too small to mention. And uh, especially my mother for uh, going through labor pains and having me. CNN Headline News comes your way next time. Air Force Sergeant Tom Swanson. Have a good week. Makes me feel like I feel when I'm with you. What is that fluttering? This light here's going nuts. It's strobing out on me. Oh well. Can you see that in the in the camera? Okay. See what? It's strobing. See it? It's a disco. See, look. There.